please enter. Do not trouble to knock or announce yourself. Anger, Boda. I have traveled far to find you. And you are brave to darken my door alone. Where is my lover, the dark fox that slinks between my sheets? Logia stayed in Asgard to help rebuild the damage from a recent attack. How generous. And entirely unlike him. You used to be much better at lying. I am not Loki's keeper. I have come to understand Jotnar magic, your method for moving Hugar from one body to another. The Mead? You seek the Mead? Hirokin! You have long outstayed your welcome. Then I will take my leave. But remember what I said, Angarboda. You will see things my way in time. You're discussing the humans in Midgard. Were we? Why would Jotnar concern ourselves with such lower beings? Because you think them hardy and ambitious. You know much, Farseer. But not enough to save you. The mead she spoke of. Where can I find it? A slip of the tongue. Forget what you heard. Do not play games with me, witch. You would sell any truth for the right price. If one had the means to pay it. There is a root called Hag's Claw. It grows at the bottom of a waterfall to the south, at the forest's edge. Bring me three roots from the place where the Red Moss thrives. Then we will speak of the mead. I will hold you to it. I have done as you asked. Now where is my wisdom? Give it a moment to brew. There. An elixir to ready your spirit. How will this bring me the meat? It will open your mind to the secrets of the world. While we wait, let us speak of Asgard. How fared your defenses after the last attack? We, uh, we have been weakened by treachery. Without time to rebuild, we, we may not withstand another attack. Wait. I, I did not mean to say that. Feels strange. Hexclaw has a way of untying the tongue. <laughs> now, you have said you want the mead, but how badly? How much would you sacrifice to be freed of fate's shackles? Would you give your tongue, your hand, your sight? I would. I would give all that, and more. I would like to see that. Loki, what trickery is this? I have sapped your strength, Javi. And I will take your life if your answers displease me. Did you think I would not come for you after what you did to my son? Our son, Fenrir. A name I think you have heard before. Yes. In the final reckoning, the world Fenrir will be my doom. Now you know. Now you can no longer deceive. Tell me, what will you do with him? I want to kill him, but I cannot. 
I swore an oath to you, Loki, and I will not break it. I will not take his life. Fenrir will be imprisoned until the day of prophecy, when we will meet upon the field of battle, as we are fated to. Then we will bind you until that day, as you mean to bind our son. An eye for an eye. I see she let you live. You must have done something right. <laughs> let me help you down from there. Uh, 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 no, no! Wait! 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 No! Ah! You could have let me down gently. That would presume I cared for your comfort. Then why release me at all? For the same reason you are in Jotunheim. You seek the mead, and I can help you get it. I assume there is a price. I want a small sample for myself. The rest is yours. Fair? Do I have a choice? Of course you do not. The mead is kept by Sutungr and his daughter Gunlother in the vault at their home in Utgarder. The vault is opened only on occasion of a great feast. When Sutungur shares the bounty of his cellar... And it would be a poor host who did not throw a feast for a distinguished visitor. Say the High One of Asgard. You are not as ox-witted as I feared. Why do you want the meat? My motives are not your business, as yours are not mine. All you need to do is get it. I must bring a mighty gift to Suttunger, if I am to earn my welcome. That idiot drunkard Agir recently lost his cauldron to Suttunger in a wager, but it disappeared on the way to Utgarder. Suttunger would be grateful indeed if I return that cauldron to him. Seek the tree that wears the scars of the World Serpent Scales. The cauldron would have passed by there. You might also bring a gift for Gunlother. There are treasures that would flatter her in Thrymmer's house by the lake near Utgarther. I will bear that in mind. When you have the mead, join me at the Well of Mimir. There I will show you how to escape your doom at Ragnarok. You are small to my eyes, stranger. Small in stature, but great indeed. I am the one they call Javi, the High One of Asgard, and I come bearing a great gift. Your name is known to me, but what could mighty Sutunga want that a little thing like you could provide? Your great cauldron, stolen by Hymir's sons. Let this offering be a beginning to the end of our hostilities. Such a small thing, yet so much deeper than it seems. Appearances can be deceiving, can they not? <laughs> well spoken, Harvey. Our people may be enemies, but you have earned your welcome here. Thralls, an honored guest has come. Prepare a feast! I hope also to meet your daughter, Gunlother. I have heard much of her skill in the mystical arts. She will be toiling at her work, as ever. But be forewarned, she shuns the company of others. I could summon her to the feast if you like. We might discuss matters of alchemy on the way. That would please me. You will find her in her grotto, up the path, within the circle of stones. Have a care, though. You are safe in my presence, but you wander Utgard at your peril. I will be discreet. And Harvey, be kind. Gunlother is different from you and I. Gunlother, what is this place? Some time ago, we made powerful magic here. We sought to see all futures. But every road led to Ragnarok. 
Father does not visit here anymore. He sees no profit in it. But I am not yet ready to give up. You are Esir. I am. I have seen images of the future. Heard the voices of those who will come after us. Voices from... in there? Yes. I leave them words. Little packets of possibility, waiting for unknown ears, many ages hence. What do these future voices say? They seek the wisdom of the past. They speak of things to come. But even they cannot turn the tide of Ragnarok. There is to be a feast in my honor. Your father sent me to fetch you. No, not yet. Listen. I want you to hear the voices. Are you there, Prophet? Can you hear me? Perhaps another day. Another thread. Come. We must not keep father waiting. Who are you? Harvey! Your feast is prepared. I hope it pleases you. You are generous and hospitable indeed, great Suttunger. None can say otherwise. And see, your gift stands in pride of place, brimming with freshly fermented mead. Enough for a hundred Jotnar and more. This is an unexpected honor. You have filled it already with mead from your vault, then. No need. It has filled itself. Such is the magic of the cauldron. Impressive. But what if it should run out of meat? Do you hear this? Harvey fears she will drink us dry. <laughs> my cauldron is deep, but my vault is deeper. Do not worry about my stores of mead. I have plenty to go around. Father, you know revelry does not suit me. Must I attend this feast? I have work to do. Your work can wait, my daughter. Take a moment, enjoy yourself. Father, we have very little time. Enjoy yourself. I insist. Harvey, the guests are uneasy. They see an Aesir, but they do not know you. Will you address them? I am ready. Now, we will hear from our honored guest. The Lord of the Aesir has come in peace and brought us a mighty gift. Attend. Harvey, I am called, whose axe is never slaked. The blood of my enemies is my meat, their skulls my pillow. You brag well. They were ever pleased by violence. Though our people are enemies, I come here to do you honor. For I know that none feast nor fight like Jotnar. Your words are well chosen. I could go on. Who wants to hear words when there's meat and mead to be had? You know your audience well, it seems. Now we will drink deep and eat heartily. Let the feast begin! Great Suttunger, 
Your guests thirst for meat, yet the cauldron is dry. All gone? I never would have thought it possible. Good Father? Open the vault. Instruct the thralls to bring more mead for my guests. Do they really need more, Father? Several are unconscious already. Do as I ask, daughter. Give them all they can drink. As you wish, I will open the vault. None will say that Sutunger is less than generous. None will be capable. The mead. By this strange magic, my Diesia evade our doom. Harvey! There! See? The robber caught red-handed. Betrayer! Deceiver! I treated you as an honored guest, and this is how you repay me? I saw you at the feast, Loki. Small wonder you disguised yourself after all you have done. Someone needed to warn my people of the treachery in your heart. Zutungur, show this Aesir how the Jotnar deal with thieves. Come, embrace your death! Be thankful it was me who took your meat and not Loki. What I do, I do for the safety of the Aesir and Vanir. You will change countless fates, Harvey, but not your own! We will see. I sorely underestimated the heft of your balls, Oathbreaker. You dare to show your face. Oathbreaker, I did to you what you did to my son. This is only fair. And Suttunger, what of him? Don't blame me for your own lack of character. You stole the mead. For the safety of my people, Loki. For Aesir, for Vanir, for all Asgard. But not for Jotnar. Not for me. You let the Jotnar into Asgard. So many dead. All so you could smuggle in your son. He was not safe here. They knew what he was and knew what he would become. Just as you do. I swore to you I would not harm him. That is the truth. That is the truth now. But how it will gnaw at you, knowing that to kill my son will undo your doom. Release him, Harvey. Release Fenrir, or I swear I will kill you here and now. You are out of favors, Trickster, and you are welcome to try. Are you finished? Curse you, Harvey. Your own distrust has undone you. Now go, and do not show your face again. I cannot be other than who I am. All this was fated. All this will happen again. But you will not be here to see it. Do not be so sure of that. The game is not over. The game is never over! <laughs> The probabilities lead us here. The calculations give us hope. Speaking with someone. Do you have the mead? I do. Must I drink it now? Not yet. For once you drink, your hugur will take flight and be ever fixed. Drink only when the hour of your death approaches. Then why are we here? When Ragnarok has come and gone, this place will remain. Remain and remember. Wise Mimir, keeper of the well, give me your counsel. You who seek immortality may find it within these waters, but there is a price. As always. The mead is not magic alone. It requires the sacred waters of Mimir's well to ferment into its final state. Before you take these waters, you must infuse them with the blood of the Asgard. To remember you, it must know you. 
Surrender a part of yourself to the waters that nourish the world tree. Only then will you have that which you desire. And if I make the sacrifice, what then? While death and ruin rage all around, the World Tree will keep you. Your body will die, but your Hoogur will live on here. In time, you will be born anew, into a new world birthed from the ashes of the old. Do you vouch for this strangeness? I must believe it. For there is one I love dearly, who depends upon it. And there is no other way? None. It seems I have no choice. You never did. How much would you sacrifice to be freed of fate's shackles? Would you give your tongue, your hand, your sight? I would give all that and more. Sacrifice has been made. Whosoever drinks of the mead, the World Tree will remember them. And you, what is your sacrifice? My liberty. Sutungar and Gunlother will not forgive this trespass. They will hunt me now to the edges of the Nine Worlds. What are they to you? We ruled together for a time, a noble triad, as father, mother, and the sacred voice. Six times we tried to blunt the fangs of Ragnarok, and six times we failed. The mead was our seventh. But they feared how it might change the humans for the worse, so they locked it away and banished me from Utgardr. By your efforts, you have returned to me what is mine. The ashes of my husband. He made his own sacrifice for knowledge. With a few changes to this mead, I may undo old sorrows. Do as you will. I have had my fill of this cursed realm. Bright mind, heart's ease. Beloved, I will not fail you again. <laughs> 